Google for Education Lecture Part 2. In this video, I'll introduce you to Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and Google Classroom. There we go. Now that we have gone over the very beginning of Google, their cloud-based storage, we're going to move on to other applications. I'm going to scoop my little head up here so that you can see the application icon down here also. So Google Docs, it is the equivalent of Microsoft Word. It has the popular features of uh, Word. It also, um, just like Word, has the ability for students to collaborate with each other and to edit so that they can group write and um, things like that. It's a great feature for group writing. It also allows users to set their permissions and when they share it, they can allow people they're sharing it with to either view it, to comment on it, or suggest edits. Or they can also, um, if you give them editor access, they can also go in there and edit the document. As students work through those comments and suggestions that you make, um, or that are made by their peers, they're able right inside the document to reply, resolve, accept, or reject what others uh, suggest. So it makes it much easier to have that full writing process with collaboration. The next one is Google Sheets. It is equivalent to Microsoft Excel. This is um, has the same collaboration opportunities as Google Docs. A lot of Google tools do have those options. This is a wonderful way to collect and analyze data. You can also create graphs right in there which can help tell your tale with data. I absolutely adore data, so we'll be talking about it later on in the quarter. It also has built-in formulas, pivot tables, and conditioning formatting. Um, if you are familiar with Excel and how to use formulas, I just want to make you aware that all the formulas are not the same between Excel and Sheets. So if you're using some heavy-duty Sheets pr uh, processing, Make sure you look up any formulas you choose to use. And there are also pre-made templates for budgets, schedules, and grade books. I use Google Sheets to organize just about any data I have for teaching and learning. Google Slides is the equivalent to Microsoft PowerPoint. It uh, allows students to collaborate for making a presentation. Um, it has the exact same options as Docs and Sheets, and it also um, lets you link to other external sites or other slides within your presentation. You can embed videos, you can embed activities. They have add-ons now that you can let you make your Google Slides interactive and ask questions throughout your presentation. There's just really no limit. Um, they have re-envisioned the original PowerPoint where you just sit there and listen to slides and slides over and over again. And Google Classroom, it is the learning management system. It's similar to Moodle and Blackboard, but it's for K-12 offered through Google. It allows teachers to co-teach. It allows them to co-write curriculum, distribute assignments. They can create classes, um, add their students to those classes, send out uh, announcements, distribute assignments, collect assignments, grade assignments. You can do all that within Classroom. And it also lets you give good feedback to your students. Students are allowed to send questions or comments back to you. And because the Louisiana Department of Education has gone into a contract with Google, all schools in Louisiana have access to Google Classroom now.